Microsoft Excel, Module 2, Formulas, Functions, and Formatting. In Module 1, you learned how to create, how to enter data, some values, format a worksheet to make it easier to read, and draw a chart. This module continues to illustrate these topics and present some new ones. The first thing we'll do, um, I'm not going to talk a whole lot, I'm just going to type and you need to follow me along in entering the titles and numbers into the worksheet. I will zoom in a little bit so that you can see where I'm at. I'm going to type a little bit with you and then give you some, then I will stop talk, talking. <laughs> Select cell A1. In cell D3, type hours, and then press the Alt Enter key to enter the first line of the column heading. Then type worked, and then you can press the right arrow. In cell E3, type hourly, again, Alt Enter. and then type pay rate. The reason we hit the Alt Enter was in order to start a new line in a cell. The final line can be completed by clicking the Enter button, pressing the Enter key, or pressing one of the arrow keys. Now we're going to continue to type everything else. I thought I misspelled that, but I did not.
good. We've got it all typed in. Flash fill. When you are entering data in a spreadsheet, occasionally Excel will recognize a pattern in the data you are entering. Flash fill is an Excel feature that looks for patterns in the data and automatically fills or formats data in the remaining cells. For example, if column A contains a list of 10 phone numbers without parentheses around the area code or dashes after the prefix, flash fill can help create formatted phone numbers with relative ease. To use flash fill, click cell B4 to select it. Type J Bennett at email.com. In cell B5, type M Fred at email.com. Click data on the ribbon to select the data tab. Click Flash Fill to enter similarly formatted email addresses in the range B6 to B12. Now, I clicked a little bit too early, so I'm going to click Undo. And I'm going to select this range here and then my Flash Fill. Why? Oh, it didn't matter. Okay. I did it right. So flash fill, and then you can go back in here and delete this one and that one. Okay, there we go. And so now, if I were to expand this out, I can see it has created a an email address for each person with their um, first initial and their last name. To enter the row titles, Select A13 and start typing totals, highest, lowest, and average. Go ahead and change your sheet tab name and color. Change sheet tab 1 to salary report. And we'll change the color. To a green. There we go. If you have not saved your work, make sure you save often. Entering formulas. One of the reasons Excel is such a valuable tool is that you can assign a formula to the cell, and Excel will calculate the result. A formula consists of cell references, numbers, and arithmetic operators that instruct Excel to perform a calculation. A formula in a cell that contains a reference back to itself is called a circular reference. Excel warns you when you create circular references. In almost all cases, circular references are the result of an incorrect formula. A circular reference can be direct or indirect. A direct circular reference occurs when a formula refers to the same cell in which it is entered. An indirect circular reference occurs when a formula in a cell refers to another cell or cells that include a formula that reverse, refers back to the original cell. To enter formula using the keyboard, select F4 and type equal sign D4, shift 8, which is the multiplication sign, E4. Select G4. 
type equal sign point twenty two times open parentheses. This begins the formula and then click F4 to add a cell reference in the formula. Type the minus sign and then click cell C4. To add a subtraction operator and a reference to another cell to the formula. Now type multiply multiplication sign 24.32 to comp and the parentheses close parentheses to complete the formula. Click the enter button in the formula bar. And then select H4 to prepare to enter the next formula which begins with an equal sign, 0 0.04 times, and then click cell F4 to add that cell reference to the formula. Click enter. Now we're moving on to I4 equals open parentheses. Click G4 this time your plus sign, and then click H4. Close your parentheses, and then a forward slash, and then click cell F4, to add a cell reference to the formula. Click enter. Now in J4, type your equal sign and click cell F4. Your minus sign, open parentheses, and then click G4 plus sign, H4, close parentheses, and hit enter. So we've entered a few different types of formulas in here. Um, so this one right here is subtracting um, E4, or I'm sorry, multiplying D and E together. You can see in here that in G4 to get our federal tax, what we're doing is so we're subtracting C4, the number of dependents, from their gross pay and then multiplying that times 24.32. Again, you can look at each of these and see all the different formulas we've created. If you want to figure out what they're doing, that's fine. Um, but just showing you examples that you can use all kinds of extra um, formulas in here typing. And this one, first of all, it adds G4 and H4, and then whatever that product is, is going to be divided by F4. So um, you can do some neat pieces in there.